Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Welcome to a new episode of Numbers Don't Lie. Today I am doing Elon Musk, who is a life path number seven. Elon Musk was born on June 28th, 1971. As a life path number seven and a birthday number one, birthday number one because the number 28 adds up and reduced to the number one. So if you are born on the 28th, you might notice within yourself there is a combination of masculine and feminine energy. The feminine energy comes from the number 28. The number two having to do with Bridget, build, basically bridging building bridges, bridging different ideas, peoples, and things together. The number eight is a CEO number. That is an authority type number. That is the student and the teacher for life. And then adding up to the number one, you know, people who are associated with the number one energy see themselves as leaders. You know, basically they need to be number one in whatever they are doing. They need to come first. And again, their presence and personality will have an authoritative type vibe to it. So with Elon being a life path number seven, and I like to call this a cardinal number seven because his sun sign is cancer and cancer is a water sign, but at the same time, it is cardinal energy. The number seven is known to be very introspective. This is the number that dives deep. This is not the kind of number that goes with what society says, what's being said on the news. People who are strongly associated with the number seven energy, they need to figure things out for themselves. They like to go within themselves to understand every single thing in life. And I personally believe that when the number seven is diving deep within themselves to understand something, they're looking for God because looking for God in the sense that the number seven has a reasoning mind that is able to make sense out of everything. And the one thing that is hard for us to completely make sense out of in a tangible form is God, the creation, you know, the creator itself. So the number seven energy basically is represents spirituality and is looking for God within itself and within all things. With Elon Musk being a cardinal water number seven, cardinal energy is sudden and ex unexpected energy. This is the kind of energy that goes from one extreme to the next. And I believe that is very innovative for the number seven. So this is the a number seven energy that, yes, like life path number seven I've mentioned, is a truth seeker and needs to make sense of everything for itself. Being a cardinal seven, this is not the kind of seven that's going to just dwell on a thing forever. Like say, for example, I'm a life path number seven and I'm a Scorpio, so I'm a fixed seven. So whenever it is, whenever I'm focusing on something, I stay locked on that thing for a while until I, until I completely understand it. Sometimes I dive so deep into the rabbit hole that I have to fish myself out. Like I have to throw a rope in and grab my other self out. But with a cardinal, a cardinal seven, basically this is a energy that is diving deep within, it, within itself and bouncing ideas back and forth within itself. And then I like to look at being born on the 28th. I briefly mentioned the 28th, the number two and the number eight adding up to the number one. But this is someone who basically needs to be first when it comes to their research because the number seven energy is all about researching. So having to do with cardinal research, this is research that is bouncing back and forth. And then 
the 28, the birthday number adding up to the number one. Like I mentioned, this person needs to leave. They need to be first. And the number one energy is filled with a lot of great ideas because the number one energy, and I say number one because I'm talking about his birthday being born on the 28th. The number one energy is the beginning and it represents an idea. So it is an idea. And then the number two energy is basically a feminine energy. One masculine energy, it's an idea, it's direct. The number two is feminine energy. And he's born on the 28th. So the number two energy basically is what takes an idea and puts it in motion in order to give us something tangible. So this is a person that has the ability to dive deep, research an idea, and at the same time, put that idea in motion. And the eight and the 28th, basically the number eight energy has amazing focus. Sometimes that focus could be tunnel vision and that could go against a person because, you know, people who are strongly associated with the number eight energy, sometimes it is hard for them to see something unless they place it in front of themselves you know, personally, where as a child, people strongly associated with the number eight energy may have gotten in trouble for stepping over a plate on the floor. And, you know, they genuinely didn't see it because, again, that tunnel vision energy. But the number eight energy is also a student and a teacher for life. And that tunnel eight, that tunnel vision, that focus along with the student teacher for life aspect paired up with having fresh ideas researching those ideas, putting them into motion and staying focused is what makes Elon Musk who he is. I thought it's cool. It was cool that he has Mars in Aquarius and Mars in Aquarius. Basically, Aquarius energy is ruled by Uranus and Saturn. Saturn, the original ruler, and then Uranus, the new ruler. But I like to look at both because Saturn gives us a sense of a need for discipline and at the same time, a sense of responsibility for our community, even though Aquarians do not feel understood by their community, they feel a sense of responsibility. But the Uranus energy that rules Aquarian energy, it's like... I like to describe it as basically it's like a jet. It's like a, yeah, it's like a jet going from our earth into different, into space, different realms and realities where um, uh, Uranus energy rules our higher mind. It's like the higher octane of Mercury. Mercury rules over Gemini and Virgo. Mercury energy is like, us having regular conversations about everyday topics and things like that. It's like a plane flying only so high where Uranus energy is a jet that basically flies far above where the plane flies and goes into other realms and dimensions and things like that. And that's why Aquarians are so sometimes so standoffish or kind of keep to themselves a bit because they know that the different thoughts that they experience in their minds, if they were to only share it with you, you would probably see them even more weird and, you know, kind of judge them for it because they're not thinking on the regular, like plain, like most of us in our regular Mercurian minds. Again, Uranus energy is the higher octane. It's the higher mind. We all have a Uranus energy within our chart somewhere. Like we all have Aquarian energy within our chart somewhere. It's a matter of figuring out where it is. And you might be able to know where it is just by the fact that you rebel. Whatever it is that you... Like Uranian energy, like Aquarian energy, rebels for the sake of rebelling a lot of the times. And it is through rebelling where innovation is born. That's where we separate ourselves from the old way of doing things and come up with new and innovative way of doing things. So yes, rebelling creates innovation, but sometimes we rebel for the sake of rebelling and that can go against us. So just observing the things that you rebel against for the sake of rebelling is probably where Aquarius or Uranian energy is in your chart. And it also shows where you have the opportunity 
to create something that has never been seen before. So yeah, Elon has Mars in Aquarius. So that means his approach to things is one that is a bit unorthodox. So this is a life path number seven that is unorthodox. And all of us who are sevens can relate to the fact that we don't approach things the way how others expect us to. That is what makes us so different and a bit of an outcast or seem a little bit weird or aloof because the number seven energy could be a bit snobbish to other people who are looking in because again, this is not the number that is going to want to see what the media has to say about something or what the news has to say about something. Like this is the number that is able to say, okay, you know, if, in, if 30 years ago, they were impregnating certain follicles within the sky to make it rain, then it is more than possible for them to manipulate weather right now and create, you know, whatever it is they want to create, wherever they want to create it, where someone else might say, science hasn't proven that yet. That's not a fact. Where a seven person, they're going to go within themselves. Like the mind of a seven person reminds me of like, the different gadgets within a watch, how they're constantly turning and connecting with each other. So yeah, with Elon having Mars in Aquarius, his approach to everything is to be different. Like it might not be intentional. If you have Mars in Aquarius, you know that you are passionate about being unique. You are passionate about being unorthodox. Like you get a kick out of doing things different. And in the process of you doing things different, you create brand new things that, you know, others have never seen before. And in the process of creating things that others have never seen before, basically there is a sense of humanitarianism to it because with Elon and his cars that he creates, like they're supposed to be environmental friendly. So that there you can see where rebelling creates innovation. And at the same time, there's humanitarianism from the whole Saturn feeling responsible for the collective and the Uranian energy, the need to rebel and bring in a higher mind, a different way of thinking and being. So yeah, this is a life path number seven. And I danced around with this one because I wanted to, sh I wanted you guys to see how different elements, you know, different placements in our chart have a big part to um, a, a big part to do with like how that number seven will play out in the world. Like something I didn't, uh, that I didn't mention with Elon having his son in cancer and cancer being ruled by the moon. The moon energy is such a psychic and intuitive energy. And the number seven energy also rules the crown chakra. So people who are associated with the number seven, like life path number seven, like lightning, like Uranian energy, you just know things, you know, and then the moon energy has to do with our emotions and our ability to pick up on basically things that is hidden within our subconscious mind or just hidden within this realm from our ego, our ability to identify with things. We're able to just pick up on things. So here you have someone who is not just a scientist, someone who is not just a concrete thinker with the number eight being born on the 28th, but someone who also taps into different realms and reality being ruled by the moon energy. So yeah, this is someone that is basically will identify with being an extraterrestrial because having Mars in having Mars in Aquarius and having that Uranian energy motivating your actions and life path seven automatically going within and diving deep down the rabbit hole that exists within that will guide us to the universe, to God, to creations and all things that cannot be seen with the eye. And then the moon energy that's able to feel everything. And then that water energy, moon and water energy, strong intuitive abilities all coming together to, you know, express itself through this person who we see as Elon Musk. If you guys have seen my other videos about numbers don't lie and like the way how I jumped around in this one and included other aspects so that you can relate if you are not a life path seven, maybe you are a 
cancer energy and you can relate to the cardinal explanation that I gave about cancer or Aquarius or birthday number 28 so you can relate to you know being nurturing like the number two energy and being a teacher and an authority figure like the number eight energy and also being masculine and a leader adding up to the number one you know let me know like what do you think about me incorporating the different aspects to show you that Yes, all signs aren't created equal. All numbers are not created equal. If you guys are still here with me, drop me a green heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.